Hello. Welcome to 15 Minutes of Fame. My name is Robert Boise. I'm the director of 15 Minutes of Fame. Uh, I want to thank you for joining us for this performance. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about 15 Minutes of Fame. It's 15 one-minute works that are written for a specific uh, musician or ensemble. Uh, this set of 15 will be featuring uh, David Bone with Toy Piano. Uh, David Bone is a native of Wisconsin. In his career as an organist, he has given premieres of over 50 works for organ. He currently resides in West Allis, Wisconsin. Uh, Bone is the organist and choir director of St. John's Evangelical Lutheran Church in West Milwaukee. Uh, David Bone is a strong advocate for both the toy piano and miniature compositions. Besides 15 Minutes of Fame, his 100-note toy piano project exemplifies his commitment and dedication to the, both the instrument and the genre. Um, before we do 15 Minutes of Fame, uh, we wanted to bring you uh, a piece from the 100-note uh, project. Um, it's called Starting Out by Ed Rukowski, and you'll hear his uh, one-minute version later on when we play the 15 bits. And without further ado, let's bring on David. Hello, David. Hello. And, and he'll be playing Ed Rakowski's piece, Starting Out. Uh, David Bone is also a composer. Uh, David has written several one-minute pieces uh, for many musicians uh, that have 15 minutes of fame has featured uh, over the past um, decade or so. We started in uh, 2009. Uh, so it seems only fitting to start uh, this set of 15 minutes of fame with a composition by David Bone himself. A uh, cold spike. Excuse me, I'm having a technical problem. Just a second. Okay, let's try it again. Thank you. 
Hello everybody from Mar del Plata, Argentina. My name is Pablo Rago and I am the composer of Serial Minute. First of all, thanks to all the team of, of Vox Nobus, to Robert and David for choosing my piece. I want to tell you that this work was special written for this call and honestly, it has been a beautiful challenge because as a composer, we all know that writing a piece of only one minute length, it's even harder or at, at least to me, than writing in much larger time spans. When we got only one minute, we have to be really effective to arrive into a place that make us feel that we accomplish a good musical result. In this case, the piece makes use of pitch series as a constructive poetic material. Um, indeed, that's why it has this an original title, Serial Minute. Serial by the note series, a minute, well, I guess that you can imagine. Although the style is free atonalism, I make use of the dodecaphonic series. But of course, uh, without following the strict rules. The main idea wasn't to write in style, I rather to take the series and order it and use it in a more personal way. Um, that maybe can reflect my own personality. Well, I hope that you enjoy it, and for any question, I'm going to be here. Regards. Hi everyone, my name is Blair Woodington. I'm a composer in Los Angeles, California, and the name of my piece is A Simple Canon. It has a variety of moods, but it is a um, simple two-voice canon at the octave, and um, I like the sound of the toy piano doing trills and the um, tinny sound and all the fun quirks of the instrument. So I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you have a good concert. I'm sorry I can't be there with you today. And um, I wanted to give a big thank you to David and Rob and uh, for this opportunity. And I hope you have a great concert. I'll be watching it later tonight. Thank you.
Wow. Great performance, David. So we've gotten through half of our 15 minutes of fame. That was our first seven pieces. And what I'd like to do now is bring on Anicia Kohler. Hi, Anicia. Hi. How are you? <clears throat> Hi, I'm great. Thank you. <laughs> uh, welcome. You are hailing from Switzerland. Is that correct? From Switzerland. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your piece? Mm -hmm. um, it's actually, uh, it, when I saw that you had an opportunity for a toy piano, I just knew that I had to come on. Um, apparently, there's a problem with the with the sound. No, you're good. Can you hear? I'm good. OK, OK. Um, yeah, because um, when the lockdown started, um, we have a, the piano. Our piano is in the living room. So I wasn't able to play anymore when everybody was at home all the time. And uh, the toy piano was just standing around and I could take it in, into a room and I started to play it a lot. And I also started to play Swiss traditional music on it, which I had ever done before. Um, so I just knew I had to participate. And um, the piece is called Almost and it's um, maybe I could say it's almost beautiful almost lyrical but not really i don't know <laughs> well i think yeah, it's very funny that um you chose a toy piano to play instead of people listening to the the the, the big piano we do what type of piano do you have in your house yeah it's just, it, i mean it's a great piano but i have two small kids so whenever i play they come and they sit on my lap and they, yeah no chance <laughs> <laughs> Well, fabulous. Well, um, you know, we'll bring you on uh, after um, all the 15 minutes of fame are done. And let me also remind everybody in the audience, if you want to ask any questions to the composers that we have here, please feel free. And as well to David Bone. Uh, meanwhile, uh, let's hear Anisia's piece almost. Thank you.
excuse me, I'm going to have to stop and redo this piece. I've got the problem again. Just a moment here. Okay, I'm going to start this piece from the beginning one more time. Hello Robert, thank you for the opportunity to compose for Toy Piano. Uh, I enjoyed it very much and I'm very happy that my composition is part of the first set. Some words about uh, the uh, composition. Toy 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 means good luck, it's a German idiom. Um, and um, this was uh, the first idea, the title. And then the music. Um, normally, I my the music uh, is ready, and then I'm I'm looking for a title. But this time, I the title was uh, the first one. Um, there's a, a dose of humor in the music uh, too. Um, the first motive is uh, a very important and a weighty motive and um, this in combination with the sound of the toy piano and important and weighty okay um, this is um, a bit of uh, opposite um, and uh, the second motive in 16th uh, notes it's uh, a response to the first um, motive um, uh, so uh, uh, in this way that you ask um, Oh, uh, is uh, this a good idea? And uh, these two motives are um, you find you uh, in the whole piece. Um, I choose a wide range of dynamics. Um, yes, it's uh, in, in short words uh, like a, a theater work um, with uh, a lot of expression and. Um, Yes, I hope it, it works and I'm very excited uh, to hear it. Bye. That was our set of 15 minutes of fame. Um, we'll be bringing on some composers on and talking to David afterwards. Uh, so please hang on for that. Uh, meanwhile, for our finale, um, we want to perform uh, uh, Stephen Dembski's Trio in Memoriam for Milton Babbitt. Uh, Stephen Dembski was born in 1949. Uh, Dembski had an unconventional route to composition. Uh, as a teenager, he played 
uh, the flute, but also enjoyed playing folk and rock music. He then became uh, interested in jazz improvisation and the music of Cecil Taylor. It was a strong influence in this regard. Uh, it was only following this period that Dembski undertook formal study in composition, studying at Antioch, SUNY Stony Brook, and Princeton, where he studied with Milton Babbitt. Uh, he taught composition at the University of Wisconsin for 35 years. Uh, his honors include three commission fellowships from the National Endowment for the Arts, a fellowship from the George and Eliza Gardner Howard Foundation, and the Goddard Liberson Award of the Academy and Institute of Arts and Letters. Uh, Stephen Dembski composed his trio in memoriam for Milton Babbitt in 2011. The piece includes references to three of Babbitt's compositions transmuted through Dembski's own method of pitch organization. The trio was published in the spring of 2012 uh, to Milton Babbitt by Perspectives of New Music. And with that, let's bring on David. Wow, great work. Uh, hi, Anicia. Can you hear me? Dub. Dub. Try. So now, now it should work. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I'm still here, still here. <laughs> <laughs> great to have you. Let's see if we can bring on David. David. I'm hey, here. David. Great performance. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
there's a lots of uh, great comments from uh, all sorts of uh, from our our composers. How you, how do you feel, David? Um, right now I'm just kind of happy that it's over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm always a nervous performer, so uh, getting uh, having it out of my hair is a great relief. I completely understand. With that said, no need to be nervous. It was a great performance. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. So and um, so, what, what do you think, Adesia? So, so you're you're you can't play on your big piano. You see the little piano. You've been playing on that. And then, um, were you were you composing when you saw the call, or you saw the the call after your your venture? I, I composed when I saw the call. Yeah. And just, just to be clear, I um I have my piano back. The kids are going to school again, so yeah. everything's fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um yeah. May I ask you, David? Yes. Is uh, would would you say the uh, toy piano is your principal instrument, uh, your main instrument? Oh no. Uh organ is actually my primary oh, at yeah. this point. Yeah. Sure. Uh yeah. but I I do enjoy playing other keyboard instruments and definitely have a fondness for the toy piano. Uh, I've actually got uh, four of them, although two of them uh, need a bit of work before they'll really be uh, concert ready. And awesome. um, yeah. And, you know, just to tease a little bit about, um, you know, uh, so th this 15 minutes of fame um, and, uh, so David also did a 15 minutes of fame for Oregon. And three of them. Three of them, correct. Yes. We, I, I have another project called 60 by 60, and he was always trying to – we still haven't gotten that fourth set of for Oregon yet, right? Well, we, we kind of do at this point, which is why uh, when I posted things, it became 60 in 60 more or less because a couple of the pieces I couldn't really manage at full tempo out of, right. out of the uh, – quote unquote fourth set <laughs> so so we'll it, it actually runs about 75 minutes oh, wow. from beginning to end so we got a hundred submissions for this call for toy piano and we are looking to do four sets of toy piano right david mm -hmm. so everybody hold on to your seats there's a lot more coming yep <laughs> Um, I was wondering, does anybody like out in the, the cyber universe have any questions or comments or I'm looking at, um, I put a few in, uh, I don't know if you saw them, David, but you can mm -hmm. read all the comments yeah. later. I've, uh, I've, I've been reading them actually. Um, hey, and is this the, um, this is your first 15 minutes of fame. Is this the first time you've done uh, online performance? Um, <clears throat> it's actually now my first um, 15 minutes of fame. The first one was in uh, 2016, I think. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, it, it was a it was a Polish flute player. Uh, yeah. Ivona named... Glinka. Yeah, oh, exactly, right. exactly. She uh, she played a piece of mine. Yeah, and then I always um, I always followed your your uh, your calls but i never participated again so yeah i'm very happy to have been chosen two times i'm Welcome very back. i feel very horny <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so i'm guessing it has grown into quite a community right uh yeah so far we've um we've done uh over 75 different ensembles oh. um mm -hmm. yeah with you know uh, thousands of premieres of uh, different composers um we we used to uh, do 15 minutes of fame either if um, the musician wanted to present it uh, on their own accord wherever they were we would uh, do that and uh, try to record it and see it when we could um, but most of the performances happened in New York City at Yanhu's church and part of another series I do composer's voice so uh, we would okay. yeah we do a chamber concert and then we did 15 minutes of fame uh, but just like you so during the pandemic, um, you know, we weren't doing live concerts and, um, you know, I was looking for a way to, to sort of present, uh, you know, 
the music of composers and to give opportunities for to musicians to to play and so we adopted this online format and uh, so far we've done uh, I think we've done 10 performances so far um, oh wow I, yeah um, yeah that, actually I don't know how many we did it's it's uh, it's been kind of a wild time you know juggling with everything you just you just you just do right it's not important to count but um mm -hmm. yeah um and and david is is like a like a long time veteran you you did the first organ piece back in the, the first organ set was 2013 performance yeah wow. and i had been on a couple of uh 15 minutes of fame sets uh prior to that right and a couple since then too oh yes mm -hmm. i would say david is one of our uh, uh high scoring champions <laughs> i don't i you've been in at least 10. uh 10 is a very conservative number i think I it's see. i think it's a, probably closer to 20. <laughs> <laughs> and submitted to a lot more you don't always get chosen mm -hmm. no nope. but you know that's it's part of the game um yeah so it's great having you both on here i don't know if um you know uh, wait you know there there we go david you are awesome mm -hmm. um <laughs> do you guys have anything else you want to uh say or comment on well stay tuned for more fun that's right our next performance is going to be june 4th right right yeah and we'll be doing it at this time you know same place same channel type deal and you will be also performing live on june i will 3rd. i will be doing the set june 3rd live and then uh doing a stream on june 4th excellent so i'll have two chances to screw them up yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh you, you don't give yourself credit but um yeah and then we will be doing um two more of those sets uh later on in the year and uh, hopefully we'll be working on some other projects in regards to 15 minutes of fame with all four sets but stay tuned for more of that later and you see and see ya thank you so much um for for submitting and being part of this and joining us today i appreciate it um uh it's not too late there in switzerland is it uh, no, 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 no. It's just, um, it's about eight o'clock, 8 p.m. Perfect. Yeah. So Thank you so of... much for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure to have you on party. It was nice to meet you. Good to meet you as well. Good to meet you too. And I also want to thank um, virtual concert halls for helping us um, bring this all together. Um, there's a lot of stuff that goes on both in the background and in the foreground and all around of us to put these, uh, um, you know, these projects together. Um, and we want to, what's up?